Hey there, Louis Acabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can restore a previous version of a Wix website. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Wix tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now if you've ever accidentally deleted something from your Wix website, Maybe you accidentally deleted some content or a page or even perhaps something broke on your website and you were not able to actually fix it. Fortunately for you, Wix Website Builder actually keeps version history of your website. They call it site history and essentially what that does is it allows you to access your website as the website was at a point in time in the past. So it's essentially uh, version history for your website and you can view your website and you can also actually restore your website to a previous version. Now this is fantastic because again, for those two scenarios I described, if you ever accidentally break your website or delete content, you can easily just restore it to a previous version. Now before I show you how to do that, you can see here that I'm on the homepage of my website. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete some content from my website. So I'm gonna delete my header here and I'm also going to go ahead and delete a page. So I'm gonna just click into my Manage Pages menu here. I'm gonna click into my Site menu and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to delete this Tools I Use page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Delete. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. Okay, so you can see here that my changes were saved. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to publish my website. So I'm gonna click publish now. And if I go ahead and launch my website, we're going to see that the elements that I deleted are missing. So you can see here my header is missing and that tools I use page is missing as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to demonstrate how you can access the version history for your website and restore it to a previous version. Now to do that, what you want to do is you want to place your cursor over the site option at the very top of the interface. And what you'll notice here is this option that says site history. And you can see the description there. It says view and restore previous versions of your site. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I'm going to click on go to site history. That's going to open a new window. And here you're basically going to be able to see a full list of your site's backups, if you will. All right, so you can see here that the page has now loaded and in the left-hand pane, what you can see here are previous versions of your website. So specifically what is listed is every time you've implemented a change and published your website. Now you can see here that I haven't made any changes to my website in a while since October, 2021. Uh, and you can also see here the most recent version, which is the date that this tutorial was recorded uh, just now, March 24th, 2022. And you can see here that I've actually clicked into the current version and just on the right hand side of the pane here, I can actually go and scroll through my website and see the content that appears on that website in that version. So you can see here I've deleted my header and that tools I use page is no longer listed here. Now, if you wanted to view a previous version, you just wanna go ahead and click on this arrow. And if I hover my cursor over it, you can see the message that reads, click to view this saved version of your site. When you go ahead and click on it, it's again going to bring up that preview so that you can actually see uh, the content that existed on your site at that date and at that time. Now you can see here when I click on this, my header is now back on the main page. And you can see here that the tools I use page also exists on the site. And again, in this preview menu, you actually have the flexibility to kind of just navigate through your site so you can actually see all of the content that appeared uh, on your site at that date and time. Now, if I scroll down, I can see all of the previous versions. And again, if you wanna drill down into any one of these, just go ahead and click on that option uh, and you'll be able to do that as well. Now, just a quick note, you can see here that you also have a menu uh, option to help you filter and find specific versions. So by default, this menu is set to all revisions. So that means it's just gonna show you everything um, in this list. 
but when you actually click on the drop down, you can see that if you wanted to only see versions of your site that were published, you could select published and it's going to filter this list to display only those versions. And if perhaps you want to see versions of your site where you manually saved it, uh, you could set that option here and it's going to display only those options as well. So you can use this to kind of help you find specific uh, versions of your site that maybe you want to view or restore. Now, before I go ahead and show you how to restore, I do wanna draw your attention to this text at the bottom here. So you'll see here it says some things won't change. Uh, and essentially what this is saying that the most recent changes that you've made to any data that's inside apps on your Wix website uh, is saved on all versions of your site. And so you can see some examples here, uh, products in the Wix stores, services in the Wix bookings, forms in 123 form builder and more won't be affected by restoring a different version. So that means if you, you've removed some app data from any of those apps and you try to restore to an earlier version, just given the architecture of Wix and those apps, unfortunately it's not going to restore that data as well. So you definitely wanna click this link uh, and kind of read through some of the other limitations with restoring a previous version of your site. Now, if you want to actually go ahead and restore a previous version of your site, you want to go ahead and select it. So if I just click on to this older version and click back into the most recent version before I deleted that content in this tutorial, you can see after you click into it that this restore button appears. Now, if I go ahead and click on this restore button, Wix is going to show me this prompt that says before restoring, make sure you close any other tabs where you're editing the site and make sure you have no other team members editing it. So I'm just gonna make sure I close out all of these tabs. And once you do that, you wanna go ahead and click restore. And you can see here that it says that it has restored that version and you can go ahead and continue to edit your site. So I'm just gonna click on this edit site button. And you can see here that we've now restored the version of our website to that previous version before I deleted my header and before I deleted the tools I use page. Now important note, this restored it to the editor. So again, the live website is still gonna be showing the website where I've deleted those elements. But once I go ahead and click publish, my website now, my public website is actually going to be restored to that version that we just uh, selected through that restore process. And if I pull up my website, here you go, you can see the header is back and the tools I use page is back as well. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can view the version history of a Wix website and how you can actually restore a previous version of your website. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Wix tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.